it's Elise again from Elise Loves Paper and this time I'm back to show you the art kit that I packed for my recent trip to New York City. Now this was a first for me. I have never done art while I was traveling. I just I either had the kids with me or it wasn't practical or something like that so I figured with this trip where I was going with my mom that I might be able to get some done so you know I thought I would try it. Spoiler alert, I did not get anything done um, because we went, went, went every day and we're exhausted when we got back. And also our hotel room was one of those, it was a boutique hotel and it was very dark in there, even with all the lights on. And so I didn't feel like I could actually, you know, make art when I didn't have good enough light. So I was hoping now I'll share you, share with you what I brought with me. And then um, I might try and actually you know, do some art now that I've gotten back, but while things are still fresh in my mind, using just this kit and see how well it serves me. Um, and I might tack that onto the end of this video after I walk you through what I brought. So stay tuned for that. Um, first of all, I brought this pencil case that I've had for a while. I think I got it for Christmas one year. It's just an Amazon triangle pencil case. This one is, I don't know, from Angu, it says, I think, you know, one of those randomly worded um, companies but it's a decent little pencil case and I'm sure if you search just for triangle pencil case you will find plenty of options there what I like about this is it has this flap that opens up to keep pens and stuff right here and then there's this other flap that keeps all the stuff in here from falling out but you can also reach it if you want you can also open it up and reach it from the top here so I'm gonna walk you through everything I brought here I brought my pilot multi-ball because it's a really good pen for writing on just about anything. Um, I brought a Derwent line maker. It's in point three. I recently got this in a um, art box kit. I think it was Art Snacks. I'm not positive. Um, and I've been using this a lot and really, really liking it. I like the lines it makes. I like it better than like a Pigma Micron. I, I'm one of those people. I don't get Pigma Microns. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. And I know people love them and rave about them, but I just, they don't seem to work right for the way that I write, but this one does. And I really like this one. So brought it with me. Um, I also brought this guy. This is a um, monograph and it's a 0. 0.5. It's a mechanical pencil. It's actually really neat because um, it comes with extendable eraser at the top but that means that you can't click so what you do to extend this is you shake the pencil and it's not coming out now because I have it locked you can unlock this and shake it and it extends this so I thought that that was really neat it's just a very pretty mechanical pencil but it's always good to have a pencil and I like the built-in eraser just for you know the convenience of not having to bring too much extra with me um, and then this was a teeny tiny pair of travel scissors. Again, you can find this. It's TSA approved because the blades are short enough. Um, I just went on Amazon and looked for TSA approved scissors and found these. Um, there's plenty of them out there, but cute little scissors. Get the job done, hopefully. Okay, so that's those. Now, when we get in here, I had one more pen that I brought that wouldn't fit here. It's just too long, you can see. It's a Tombow, um, and I wanted to have a neutral gray, and this is a warm gray. It's the N89. I got it in a multi-pack with a whole bunch of grays, um, and I like this one because it's a, a warm gray, but not too warm. I do have paper to show you, I don't think. Let's see. Here's a persnickety thing. See, it's a very light one, but I intended to use it to add shadows um, to some of my paintings. I've seen some, um, lost my words here. I've seen some Urban Sketchers do this, and I really like the way it comes out. Um, so I brought that, brought a glue stick. I love the Uhu sticks, um, just so I could glue things in if I wanted to, papers, stubs, that kind of thing. Um, I got this for my birthday. It's a set of travel watercolor brushes and it's from Zen, I believe, Zen Arts. I'm not sure. You can find them on Amazon, um, but I've gotten a few Zen Art things and I quite like them. I've not used these brushes yet, but they are seem very nice and I'm excited to use them. So it comes with, let's see, a round, a small round, I think a larger round, a filbert, 
let's see what this is. Here's a larger round. Um, I don't know if they're written on there. Yeah, sorry. Here it is right here. Four. That's a four round. This was, I think, a one or a two. A one. Um, sorry, I know that's really hard to see on the silver. This one is a flat a six. Let's see. And then this last one is a filbert. Yeah, an eight. Ooh, jumped out of my hands. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The one thing I don't like, you can see it's already starting to feather a little on the side when you try and put it in because this one's wide. So I try and put it in carefully, but it still grabs just a little. Okay, so that's that set. Nice little travel watercolor brush set. And I'm hoping if they work well that I will put them in my regular travel watercolor kit because I like to have an on-the-go one. Um, I included a bit of washi tape to tape off edges if I wanted to. Just a This is one that I think my daughter got and she wasn't a fan of and I don't love, so it's great to use for that. Um, I brought some clips to hold my pages down. And then... Here, I'm trying to go for the little things. I brought... A little ruler, good for tearing things on a straight edge. I find that they're always handy to have a metal ruler around. Easy to pack, light. Some washi tape and some neutral tones that I just wrapped around. It's a plastic ruler. Um, and then, let's see. I did travel. My husband got me this for Christmas. I have not used it yet. I'm super excited to use it. It's one of those printers that you can print straight from your phone and they have a sticky back on them so they're great for this kind of thing if you want to print a photo and plop it in the page um, and I brought some extra you know paper for it um, and then I brought a paper towel at the bottom for when you do watercolor when I do watercolors I like to have something to um, mop off my brush on I guess and then this is a kit that I got for traveling it's from Zen Art Supplies, and I have swatched it. It's the Moderno set, and I really like that it's, it has enough red, yellow, blue, typical that you can mix anything you want to, but it's not a boring, typical set that you would find. I find that those are a little too drab for me. I tend to like a very bright palette. Um, and as you can see, this one is a lot brighter. It's got that bright purple, bright, it's got an opera pink, which I love working with. And that's one of those things that tends to be missing from a lot of the, um, traditional kits. I love these bright greens and bright blues here. So I'm, ex I was very excited to use this kit. It's a cute little, just a 12 half pan set, um, in here. You can see I've used it just a tad. Um, that's that. So that's, what I plan to bring, and then of course I had, oh, I needed eraser hiding in there. I will slide all this out of the way. For my sketchbook, I had gotten this one. Um, Cause I wanted to try a different format for urban sketching. I'm not usually one who likes this very long. I don't if, even know if you'll be able to see it all on screen. There we go. Um, I don't know, but it felt like it might've been right for urban sketching, for travel. Um, travel journaling, that kind of thing. So this is the Pentallic one. Um, I think it's their only watercolor one. It's a nice, nice heavy paper. I don't know if you can hear. Um, I'm not sure the exact weight of it, but I feel like it's it's pretty far up there. You can tell it's cold pressed. It's got a texture to it, which is not my favorite, but it's it's hard to find a hot press one <laughs> sketchbook. Um, and then it comes with a little pocket in the back, which I thought also would be handy if I didn't get to, you know, um, using something that I had picked up that day. So that's what I had. Um, and I think I might try a little bit, hopefully if it turns out okay, I will append that on the end of this video and enjoy, but if not, thanks for watching. Let me know um, if there's anything that's not in my art kit that you have in your art kit and you can't live without, or if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'm happy to answer anything, um, but thanks for listening and let's see how it works out for me.